Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what the fuck happened. My internet decided to go fucking crazy. So right now, it's tied up. No, I just wait, Goonie, because that's top eight. I mean, like I said, if you really absolutely want to play, you can. But you know, I prefer if you guys just wait. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, my internet's uh, it's fucking spectrum bullshit, man. It just disconnects me when it really shouldn't. But I've got a clash from Dre right now. Spending two bars, trying to get as much health back as possible. Remember now, it's uh two one Dre, so Dre really. Really wants this win right here, especially since every time these two guys have met, Cecil has been the victor in it. Ooh, caught him on that trade of low. If he didn't have his trade out, Cecil would not have been able to extend that, but. Unless when it, he does that move, he does extend it. But either way, it's kind of a heartbreak for, you know, Dre, I'm pretty sure. Making a 2 2 right now. Come on, cat. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Right, let me get these brackets back up. Hunter, go, uh... Fighters approaching Gorilla City. It's... Go to that thread. The thing about that, though, is... For the very, very first post on page one at the very top, that's set for today. So in the next couple days, check the title. And if you see that it's been set for next week on the 29th, then, you know, that means that you can sign up through the sign up link and it'll show you the brackets. So save that link because that's where I always update it every single week. To the you know, new signups and everything. That's how you sign up. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. So, anyways, Dre and Cecil going at it right now. Looks like Cecil getting his momentum going. Dre, he had the upper hand where he got caught by silliness of uh, Blue Beetle. So, had he waited just a little bit, long, a little bit longer, he might not have got hit. He's just right now trying not to hit by him. Do the best that he can. Score is 2-1 Dre, or 2-2, two, two, excuse me. Basically both players are on their set. Ooh, and tied it up. Cecil sitting around 75%, Dre at 100%. But Dre's got no bar, and Cecil's got 100%. Spends the two right now, wants to catch him. Got clashed by both players though, so still anyone's game right now. Great. Trying to get his game going, get his momentum. Thank you for the follow. These uh, these projectiles kind of killing him. Ooh, and trying not to initiate a clash, and Cecil wins the set. So Cecil moves on. Jay gets sent down. So up next, we're gonna hopefully have Ninja and. Caged. I really hope that we don't have a uh, numbers game match. If we do, um, then that's very unfortunate, and uh, that means Ninja and I need to have a little chit chat. <laughs> no, ignore. That's how you get instant ignores for me. All right. him in here so I hope everything works out well yeah it was really good I think Dre's been uh, grinding that matchup all right so there's ninja all right all right all right, all right. So here we go 
think we're going to have uh, Jam Jambala. It's funny name. This should be a pretty decent set. Pretty sure Cage is gonna play some dead shot, some cancer. And then from Ninja I think we're gonna see some Superman. If I recall. And yes, this the way I run my tournaments, um you know, new DLC character comes out, you can play them. In fact, I encourage it. But if they're broken, like they have infinite or some stupid fucking thing that's, you know, game breaking, then no, you can't use it. The character. Or if it's something like Lau uh and MPX get a thing with his teleport where he would gain extra meter. I said you could use Lau, you just can't use that glitch to gain that extra bar you do your DQ day so. so anyway we got uh Brainiac versus Deadshot so this is gonna be a pretty interesting matchup got Cage going in Brainiac using his air dash to come in over the you're going for the dive kick but he got air to air right now and Cage just looking with the onslaught going for the back ones man and staggers it's got blue trait, so that means more damage, a lot more pushback, and wow, that close one, that was silly. Oh nice, congrats Hunter. Dead shot, using those low threat shots, keeping him at bay, trying to keep Brainiac away from his good range. Brainiac's a silly character though, I like uh, PL playing him, looks pretty silly. Ooh, and the dive kick the trade right there. May or may not have been the best thing. Air to air, drops the combo, no conversion. Follows up with my shots. Trip him up. He's got blue up. So that means, like I said, more damage, more pushback. When you get hit, you go full screen. And chip out. It's gonna be close. Dead shot with a bar. Full we'll stick of butter on Brainiac. Ooh, went to go for the down two and got caught by the dive kick. Brainiac doing his thing, trying to close it out. He does. He does. So little accomplished. We got Cage, Willamain, taking game number one. So let's see if we're gonna see a character change. Yep, he asks for soups right away. No, oh, he goes to Red Hood. Red Hood, dead shot. So we got dead shot versus Red Hood. Projectiles everywhere. I mean, I don't really like zoning and shit like that. Should never bothered me personally. This is coming from an OG Cabal player. <laughs> So, I fucking love zoning. It fills my heart with a lot of joy to see people get mad He's zoning. So this should be a very entertaining matchup of Dead Job vs. Red Hood. Bullets and landmines galore. <laughs> oh, man. So we got Blue Trait shooting it up. Trying to keep him at bay. Add that increased damage. Dead Shot. Keeping him out, Red Hood using that meter burn roll, we got it man. Blocks on it, goes for the 4 3, drops the combo. Got Wake Up by Deadshot, got out of the corner, now he's got Ninja in the corner. Back 3, back 3, back 3, or not back 3, back 1. What the fuck am I talking about? Ooh, gets caught by the 4 3 meter burn, landmines up. Wake Up's out, gets away from it, could have down through him there, but waited for him. Want to get that trip guard. Using the bullets, we got air shots by Red Hood. Cage just keeping him at bay. Red Hood, full stick of butter. We got Cage at two bars. 
So let's see what kind of meter these guys are gonna spend. Just meter, meter, meter. Ooh, meter burn roll in, meter burn roll in. Goes for the landmine, back three, meter burn. Doesn't quite get what he wants to do right there. Cage got him in the corner, looking for the close out of this round. And that throw might do it. No, Yolo still has some life left. Hits him with that dodge. You got the tea bags again for the cage. The cage don't give a shit. He's just bagging, bagging away. Got that one pixel of health from Ninja. Cage doesn't give a shit. He's just gonna let this shit rock. And there we go. We got wake up. Take it all. Deadshot wins. So we got Cage. Up oh, 2-0 right now. Going on a set point. Well, a set match. Got Ninja down a couple games, but he's in winner's side, so that means if he loses, he still has a chance to redeem himself from loser's side. So now we got Pimp side up. Deadshot versus Asylum. Pimp side. I'm serious. Uh, I'm going to make that a meme. Or uh, not a meme, uh, an emote. For my channel, for people who subscribe, you get pimp side emo. <laughs> Shit's gonna be hilarious. But he's going in. Using those Omega Beams, just avoid it. He's just gonna sit there and wait, because he's like, I got Omega Beams I can trade with you. Fuck. Deadshot's got trait, and he's got faster bullets, and right now he's got two bars of meter where he can use any day just to add chip, keep you at bay. We got trade up by Dark Side. Teleport using that trait. Going for the teleport. Doesn't connect with that overhead. No trade up yet from uh, Gorilla Man. Pimp Side's got him in the corner. What's he gonna do? Option 4 3. Drops the combo. It's gonna hurt. Blocks the wake up. And gets caught by the overhead on that at the end. Hits him with his overhead. Make themes out. Got a trade right there. Went for the down 2. Missed the down 2. Almost got punished hard right there. The trade, we got him side. With the health advantage, but we got dead shot with the meter advantage. Using that trait, sending him out, trying to do some damage. Gets down too though, unfortunately. It's in the corner. Using that meter burn to get out. Back threes. Now we got the clash. Big big guns for big game. You will suffer. Both players talking shit to each other. Two bars spent, 25% health gain. Using those Omega Beams. Ninja got hit right there. Both players on the third round. Gorilla Man on set point. YOLO looking for his first game, trying to get it going. Ooh, we got the air escape. Goes to the down two. He's only had one successful so far, but right there he didn't get punished hard. So we got pretty lucky right there. Both players, round save mark, same amount of meter after that little skirmish right there, but now we got two side at two bars. Gorilla Man at two bars himself too. Same amount of health. More teabagging. Ooh, and then air to air knocked him out of telly. Ninja. Trying to avoid all these bullets. Doesn't want to get hit by anything. We got a bar by Deadshot. Blocks the teleport. And that's gonna be it. Pimp side. Deadshot wins. Cage moving on. He's gonna see Cecil in winners finals. But before that, going to loser side. So get these guys going. Good games, guys. Ninja. Chilling in semi, so just wait it out for a little bit. You'll get your match. But right now we got Jughead versus Goonie. Probably gonna be Batman versus Pimp Side, maybe, or maybe we might see Grot. I don't know. Right. Oh, my bad. Hold on. My bad, guys. Just because I'm so used to what I forgot to. 
I, even though I know I had Jim before, like my mindset's just kind of single track right now. My bad. My bad. Yeah, so just exit that hill if you guys could. I apologize. Now we're good. Right, now we can start this shindig. Yeah, that's all it was, Zim. Just a force of habit. Yep, Batman, Batman vs. Pimp side. side. Should be a pretty good match. Approaching the Bat Cave. So it's who's gonna get that first bar. Begin. That much needed first bar. Use the interact. We'll get that first bar. Teleports over. Getting his game going. Using the Omega Beams. I think these guys uh, fought earlier actually. I think these guys were the very first match. Yeah, these guys. So this is a run back right now. Top 8 run back. Oh, Eric escape out. We didn't take full extent of that damage. Now he's got Goonie where he wants. Goes to the parry. Goonie didn't fall for it, and now he's gonna throw him. Threw him away. I'm surprised he didn't want him in the corner. Corner game is what you always want. Down two is right there, and he converts off. He didn't have to be in the side fast. That's silly, and he's got him in the corner. It's gonna hurt. This cat is going nuts. Down two. Going in. Teleports. Teleport gimmicks are silly. Use them to your advantage. Thank you for the follow. Oh man, four threes, four threes. Did you see the health fleet. And this won't end well for you. It's kind of devastating. Will have victory. I got hit some. Trying to bring Goonie's life down as much as possible, as fast as possible, without taking as little damage as possible. Oh, and that crossover too. It's gonna hurt him. Using it. Oh, Josh doesn't connect with the forward three. He delayed it a little bit. Just kind of chilled on the ground and Eric escaped out. I think he didn't get caught by that forward three. Oh, and there we go. Got 10% health. You can do it. That's all you need. He said, as long as you got any amount of health, there's still that chance for comeback. Walks in the Omega Beam. It's tough, but still game one, so there's plenty of Dark side wins. plenty of time to you know, make changes and make those slight adjustments. Fighters approaching Atlantis. Nobody changes. Just different stage. We're back here at it. Well, not back, but we're at Atlantis. Goonie's starting off strong. No. Yeah, Goonie's starting off strong, but I think Jugman got the first part. Oh. Goonie, guys, looked weird for me for a second. 
they've seen the interactable hit. This stage has plenty of unblockable interactables. They hurt, as you can see, you know, they're taking a significant amount of damage, but it's his turn now. He's responding well, but he got down two there, and Tony's gonna fortunately chip him out right there and take the round. Chuck trying to play it safe, work his way in. Not get caught by the down twos. Seems to be his demise when playing against the side right now. Getting down two and his combo's hurt getting off the down two scale. He's got him in the corner, hits him with the crossover, here's his chance. Drops the combo though. Picks it back up. Using the bats. Ooh, and that was nice. Good reaction on that teleport to cross him over with that jump too. Very, very nice. He's got the bat out. He's got a second bat up in case he needs it. Ooh, gets caught by the forward three. Goonie opts for another one. Down two. Now it's Jug's turn. The down two Goonie. Doesn't connect this time on Goonie either, so Jug gets his combo. Pushing him towards the corner. And we got Super. And it hits him. And this might be it. His Omega Boom. They're going nuts. Tom Brady special. No, nope, he's still alive and Mega Beam hits him in the head. Dark Gonna be taking a 2-0 right now. Dark side. Batman. Batman. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Fighters approaching the Bat Cave. Same matchup. Goonie going on set point. Jug down a couple games. This is loser's side, so there is tournament life on the line, unfortunately. But hey, either way, whatever happens, top eight. So can't really hate about that, you know. Goonie starting off, gets that first bar. Using straight, good blocks right there, gets caught by backhand, up him side. Down two, drops the combo. Using those Omega Beams, gets caught by the bat. Not close enough to connect to that jump too, so. You know, he didn't want to risk trying to go for it when he knew he wanted to, you know, connect with it. That way he would get hit on. While they landed, you know, trip guard is that kind of thing. Oh, that was silly. Went to go for the throw, but interactable explosion caught him and then he caught him right there again with the jump too so that's another reset just more damage 50% already gone on top of the ship too what Jughead's got to do find his momentum and his pace not get caught by the Goonie Goonie pimp side ooh and that jump too that was silly just non-stop nobody's taking a second to breathe just non-stop Forward, forward, forward. Hits him with that air to air. Got the advantage. Trying to keep him in the corner as much as possible. Ops with throw. Pretty smart. Adding that extra 15% damage in. Ooh, didn't get down two there. Lucked out pretty well. Seen it coming. This is just a whole different player from Jug right now. Completely different turnaround. Got a clash. Got a clash. Don't want that last little bit of your health you taken away from you, no matter what. Got a so clash. Sure. And he's got the meter advantage, so gains 25% back, sitting at 25 right now. So, or uh, 30%. No, it's at 25, yeah. Approaching two bars. Goonie on set point right now. Jughead with a life lead. It's caught by that overhead though. Trait's up. Ooh, what a nice reaction. Got caught by the trait. Trait wasn't there. That'd have been the end of Goonie for this match. Got a bat up. Throws it out. Got two bars by Goonie. He's got trait up. Sends it out. Goes in, hits him again. Silliness. Ops for unclashable damage. Teleport in the throw. This is gonna be down on the wire. This is close. We're gonna have a comeback like this. Ooh, 
Cooney didn't get down two down that punk, or uh, Jug didn't get down two. Good block by Goonie, but in the low by Jug is gonna take it. Batman wins. That was crazy. So right now, the score is two one. Jug showing signs of life. We got Troticus. Fighters approaching Atlantis. Said so no more pimp side. Dark side's gotta rest his hand a little bit. Begin. Who's gonna get that first bar? Three bats, sending him out. Avoids that unblockable, wow. That bounce must have just bounced over his head. Now we got Trocidus going in. Using that deck star. But the ops for me to burn. Interactable. Pushing him away. He doesn't want to deal with that shit. Avoids the jump three though, so. Almost hurt him. And that multi hit. Gonna knock him out of that four three me to burn. No armor for you. Good block on that low. Got MKX all over again with 50 50. Now it goes. Sorry about that little dim screen right there. Got the time control. Oh, gotta respect it. That's gonna take his health down. Goody on set point. Jug has got some work ahead of him. Jumps in. Got him in the corner. Off sword. Thank you for the follow. Good blocks. It's caught by the forward three though. It's down around 75% health right now. Ooh, and that was nice. Use that meter. Get his armor and plow right on through that should have tried to kill. So you know, pretty good chance to sit at 60-65 ish percent health right now. And he's got clash and meter advantage right now over Booney, but he's taking some hits right now. And now he's got some dot damage. Boys is gonna be rough. Still has Clash available, but Goonie fortunately has more bars of meter right here than him, so it's gonna be tough. It's sitting at 2% health. Ooh, he had bats. I'm surprised he didn't shoot bats out of the to uh, uh, the hook. So it's gonna be a close one. No punish, but the chip's gonna do it. Goonie takes it to move on. Atrocitus wins. So up next we've got Trollster versus MKX King. There's good matches. Pretty good matches. You know, Jug in the usual top eight. Can't hate or complain about that. So let's wait for these guys to get in. In the meantime, how are you guys enjoying the tournament? Any particular match you guys like, didn't like? Waiting on King. I'm sure he'll be here any second. Right? Yeah. I mean, Dre's got a. Uh, Got a good chance. He usually does pretty well in these tournaments, so you know, not uh, not surprised to see you know him usually in like top three.
Is King still here? He should, uh, should still be. Um, if King's not here in a couple minutes, we'll move on to another match. In case, you know, he's restarting or something like that. Because he was in chat and, uh, now he is not. Maybe he had to go. Alright, um, we'll wait on your guys' match for a minute, Trollster. Uh, we'll run this next set if King is not back by the time this set is done. Then we will, unfortunately, have to DQ him. So, we get Ninja vs. Goonie up then. We'll get you guys going. So be patient, Trollster. If you can, please. I think maybe that's why he was asking about if they could be played off screen. Because maybe he had stuff to do. Now just waiting on Zem. to connect. I mean, if not, we'll try it one more time. But if there's uh, a connection issue where you can't connect, I'll just unfortunately have to run it. Oh shit. Here, let me make a new hill, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna make a new hill. If he can't get in, then uh, we'll just, uh, I'll have to run it without you in there. Failed, it says. Alright, we'll try one more time. If that doesn't work, it might be something with a connection issue. Thank you for the follow. Maybe, uh, not connecting to Ninja, because, you know, seems like a lot of connection issues with him. These guys are good. Connected right away. So I hope you get in. Um, but if a random comes into this hill while you guys are doing your thing, um, if a random is in the hill, then I'm just gonna leave the hill, make a new hill, and just negate that slot. All right. Sorry, man. I just hope a random doesn't join in. So we're gonna have Pimp Side versus versus Red Hood. Yeah, we'll get to you guys momentarily. Just sit tight, Cecil. This is what I plan on doing, you know, banging out this match. Hopefully get Trollster and King going. If not, then Dre versus Trollster if King's not here. Get those guys done. Finish out the losers and then go to your guys' game. Got Goonie as a pimp side, keeping his pimp hands strong. Got Ninja going Red Hood, trying to get his game going, spinning him around like RoboCop. Got Goonie in the corner, hits him with that forward three. Goonie trying to teleport out, but kind of failed to do so. Yeah, you might have to fight Dre Troll. That's right, just use that flash. You'll be good. Ooh, and double teleport into the grab, playing with those mind games, throwing in the little mix up right there. Using the Omega Beams, trying to chip them out, keeping them away. And using that interactable 
take the first round. Game number one. Ops for teleport. Teleports again. Instant air overhead. Good block. Fight ninja on that. Didn't get caught. Caught by the red or the last part of the uh meter burn on that. Yeah, that is true. Aw oh, man. I hope my fucking internet doesn't go out. Just like I said, Spectrums has been really stupid lately for a lot of people. At least for me. I gotta call them. I know why. Anyways, a lot of back and forth right now. Yolo trying to get his game going. Goonie, just trying to keep him at bay with Omega Beam and Pants. Using that throw. Teleports in. Goes for the overhead. Need a burn. Make sure that he can't clash. Going for it again. Ops for another throw. This might do it. Goonie taking game number one. Dark side wins. Pimp side. Keeping his hand strong. So now we got Craniac in the picture. We got the boss versus the new god. So let's see how it goes. Begin. We're fighting at the bar. The drunk bastards are like, oh man, we got some crazy fighting going on behind us. I just hope I don't get thrown. <laughs> Got Pimp Side using those lasers, teleporting it. Boy's the uh, tray by Brainiac, but he got caught by that dive kick. Now we got some dash in. Ooh. Hits him out of the air. Brainiac just putting the hurt on Goonie right now. Gonna chip him out. Oh. Thought it was gonna chip out, but the dive kick worked out all in the same. So you're sitting around 75% right now, maybe a little bit more. Goody trying to just get out of this corner and take him down, just want to deal with this shit. Mega Beam trade up. Back to center stage. Brainiac doing his thing. Pushing Brainiac out. Ooh, Goody trades up again. Keeps getting caught by these dive kicks and ninjas just. Plans dominance right now with Brady and tying it up, making it 1 1. Brainiac wins. So let's see what Goonie opts to do. Is he gonna. Is he gonna stay pimp side? Yep. Dark side. No, he decides Gorilla to go Broad. Gorilla Rod. Brainiac. Fighters approaching Gotham City. <laughs> yeah, not a smart idea to sleep there in your match cage. It's kind of like blocking with your face. It's just it's never a good idea. Just got first bar going to Ninja. Trying to get Goonie in the corner, but. Yo, buddy, thanks for the follow, man. So, he got Grad. Trying to get his game going, but these uh, air dashes and, you know, you know how it goes. These air dashes and these uh, traits, man, and these dive kicks. Certainly, gonna per certainly going to put our hurting on. Down one using the throw. Do any kind of damage that he can. Oh, well, my notification hasn't showed up. Ooh, when he backs up using that charge, avoids the trait. Grad go in, pushing him toward the corner. Got the light on him. Mine is the greater mind. 
think it's uh yeah there it is thanks for the follow man Goonie just trying to take down this last couple percent of health and Ninja finally gets it yeah score is alright so it is one more I want to make sure I wasn't uh, hallucinating and there it goes Grod getting his game going Ooh, drops the combo on the trade though. What is that back three? Doesn't want to get caught. Good block by Dylan. Palliating is down one in the new throw. Trying to keep his life pretty much in the same range as uh, Ninja right here. Both players at three bars each other. We got Grod fastly approaching. Full stick of butter. Should have it fairly soon. There it is. Goonie takes it. Making it 2 1 right now. Gooning that Garad Madness. Gorilla Garad wins. Garad, not Garad. Garad Madness. Two highly supreme intelligent beings fighting it out. Brainiac. Gorilla Garad. Fighters approaching Arkham Asylum. So we got Goonie on set match right now. Ninja is only down a game. Begin. Ops with the down one gets caught by Dive Kick though. Ninja getting that first bar meter. Everybody loves that first bar meter. So great. Ooh. He's caught using that trait. Back three, got the combo. Went to go for the forward three, I'm sure. I'm sure. Maybe that's uh, an overhead move. Thanks for the follow, man. That's crazy uh, Twitch name right there. Got him near the toilet. Trying to bring it to mid screen. Doesn't want to deal with it. Use that jump shot caught by the end part of that trait. His back heel. Ooh, and that's the Grod Madness going in. Caught by the wake up though. Both players roughly around the same amount of health, so still anyone's game. Caught by the back three, Goonie Burn drops the combo and close out the round. Goonie using that bar, trying to get his game going. Okay, nah. Uh, yeah, your match, King, will be up after this set. So you and Troll Sir will get your game in. So just wait. Ninja trying to do Goonie pretty dirty right now. Goonie with full stick butter. Brainiac sitting on two right now. Spent one in that trade right there. Goonie's at 25, but he's, like you said, he's got full stick of butter. And he's got trade up, so... He's got a lot of room to work with right now. He's got the grad cancels. The grad cancels. Trying not to get caught using that meter. Getting out of that. Taking some damage though. Anything's gonna kill him, so he's gotta be very, very careful. Who do you want to win, bro? So it's 2-2 right now. Deuce is up, so someone's taking this game and someone's being kicked from the tournament. Because that means tournament life is over. Yeah, Goonie's my boy, so. Hoping and rooting for Goonie. Yeah, his Brainiac is pretty silly. I'm actually really surprised by it. Begin. Good stuff by you, Ninja. So Goonie said, fuck this, I'm going back to inside. Surprised no Supergirl, but he decided to opt to inside. He just knows the Mega Beam, straighten out. He's trying to play it safe, not get caught. But he got caught. He's in the corner and he would drop the combo and now he's going to get a wake up right there. Goon trying to hit him. 
Try to hit him with those Mega Beams using the Arrow Mega Beams. Yeah. Caps is where it's at, man. Goonie uh, reminded me of Caps Life Love, so. Gotta show some love to Caps Life. Goonie. Just taking some damage right here and got Ninja on set point. This is a set match between both these players. Ooh, wow. Got caught. Goonie really trying to just get out of this corner. Wants to tie it up. There it is. Opposite to throw and yeah, he's on his set match, so set point. Trying to keep him at bay, use that trait for the Omega Beams to catch him right there on that teleport. Good stuff by Julie. Doing everything in his power, not to get hit by these uh, dive picks. The dive, dive picks are pretty good from uh, Brainiac, but Goonie playing like a madman right now and kind of just pulled some shit out of his ass and took it, took it away, so good stuff by Goonie. So up next we got Trollster versus King. Winner of that goes to play Dre Dog. The winner of those goes to play Goonie in uh, semifinals. Yeah, semifinals. Hey, uh, Zem, do you want back in or no? There is only one. Goonie. If you don't know Goonie, you should. <laughs> yeah, Zem, just waiting on you, seeing if you want to get in this. If not, I'll just start it up without you. Flash versus Deadshot. Pretty sure that's what it's going to be right here. The Flash. It's all good, man. No worries. So we got Flash on deck. Looks like King's thinking right now. Superman. Superman. All right. Fighters approaching the Bat Cave. Pretty good. Begin. And it starts off right there. Yeah, that's what I like about these tournaments. There's a lot of character diversity. And you get to see some Swamp Thing, which is nice. You don't ever get to see that in other, you know, like stacked majors and shit. But anyway, Soups or Splash. Splash going in. Pretty cool Flash costume. Drops the combo though. It's gonna hurt him right there. Got him in the corner though. Setting up for it. You know, and there's that overhead. Can we hurry this 
this up. <laughs> That's funny. Traits up. King going in now. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Air dash is over. It doesn't get caught. Caught the last part of that though. Didn't think Trollster was gonna go in. Now he's got his trade up. Got to clash. Don't want to take that extra damage. You that shit. Is... Catch me if you can. Using the shakes. Doesn't want to get caught, but we got a back three meter burn. King doing that extra damage. Using that air dash. That was pretty good. He almost got caught. So right there. That would not have been good. Tying it up. Still pretty close too. I mean, King's only down a little bit of health, so still got plenty of time to come back up. Take some chip. Trollster going in. He's got him in the corner. Air escape almost cost him some additional life right there, but managed to uh, not continue the combo, so it worked out pretty well. King really got trade up. Thank you for the follow. Oh, he's shooting the eye beams. Surprised we haven't seen too many eye beams in this match. Oh, that's gonna hurt, especially when you get traded up into the overhead. You got no flash to follow through on it. We got no meter from soups. We got a bar fastly approaching two bars by Trollster right now. Absolute throw. King's got him in the corner. Four, two, three. Trades up. Down one. Just chipping away. Caught by the down two. Ooh, drops the combo, so there's still time to cover, but straight into that dash. It's gonna take it. Game number one. Going to Trollster. The Flash. My guess, Jug, is uh, NRS Logic. They're, uh, I don't know, they're weird with uh, ranked and things like that. Could just be like the scoring too, you know. It's King's thinking. I mean, especially like in online tournaments like this when you've got the opportunity to, you know, because it is a king of the hill where you can pick your own characters kind of thing, you know, sit and wait instead of just straight in a rematch, or even if not, if you're in an old so like, you can use that time to think, regroup, you know, it's actually really good to take the extra 30 seconds or a minute to recompose yourself, you know, maybe think of something that you did or didn't do or someplace that you could, you know, benefit with this character or not and King decided to go with Captain Cold so Begin. see how it works out for him. Caught him right there in the beginning so he gets that first bar. Uses it. Puts that ice down but he knows that uh you know he can keep him at bay but while he keeps him at bay he can fill up his gun. He's got him. Throws him and uh you know, he goes with ice pick keeping him at bay. Throwing some interactables. Nothing's in Clash. Well, neither player are power characters, so you can see, you know, some bounces and things like that. Maybe some swings from these interactables. Use that low. Sends out the grenade. Might get frozen. Back dashes out of that, or, um. I don't even know what's called the bubble. Right now, it looks like Kings is. I think a significant dominance on Trollster right now. And Trollster turn the tides with this combo. Got him in the corner by the time it's all done and over with. Drops the combo. Doesn't get max damage, but I mean, 56. Pretty damn good enough for just like that. Two combos, and oh, it didn't kill him. Caught by the wake up, and now he's got to sit and wait and sit and wait. King. Using that. Wants to put a little bit of extra damage for when he goes in the middle. Because he knew he wasn't going to survive that round. He was caught by the overhead. Uses the throw. Puts him in the corner. Where you want your opponent to be at all points in time. And uh, he got trade up. It's going to hurt. Do some damage, drops the combo. King almost recovered from it. Got caught. Use the air escape to get out. Pretty good. 
Now he doesn't have to deal with the rest of the Trollster's combo right there. Could back dash out of that, making sure he's got his space. Using that dance extreme that you know Captain Cold has. Could block some forward three. Options in his back three meter burst, but the way the hitbox worked out completely with him. We got that one bar or well, one pixel of hope. And unfortunately, Trollster's gonna take game number two. For Jug. Or um for King. I said Jug because I looked at chat and he was the last person to type in chat. So let's see if King decides to stay Captain Cold or if he's going to opt for a different character. The Flash. Joker would be pretty interesting. The Flash. Decides to go back to Superman. Trollster going on set point right now. Or set match, excuse me. We got King. He's down a couple games. This is tournament life, unfortunately, so. Somebody's gonna be getting knocked out here. Maybe not this match, but in this set at least. Ooh. First bar goes to King. It's got, it's got trade up, so there's more chip, more damage, and you got a bar and you decide to armor. Oh, he can knock you out. Just using those eye lasers to control Surat Bay. I think uh, King might want to try to play it more like on paper, you know, use more of the eye lasers and stuff to control Surat Bay, you know. You can keep Flash out, same thing with like Scarecrow and Grod and stuff. If you can keep them out, you're gonna have a better advantage as if they were, you know, close range and then not so much, because that's where they are effective, they're close range. That's where you gotta deal with it. Control so Stunts, do this thing, drops the combo. Superman punch out to avoid anything that Troll Stunts is trying to do, whether it be getting hit or getting away. Two bars. Five soups, full stick butter on Trollster. King's got the life lead right now, taking some damage, but it's where King wants to be. Getting pushed to the corner though, ooh, and that nice neutral almost uh, worked out in heavily, heavily in his favor. But he's got him in the corner. Caught him, drops the combo. I think, uh, I don't think he was ready for it from that there. I was expecting, you know going with the chip and now we got King just going with that pressure keeping him at bay in that corner Poster tying it up putting himself on set point Remember, don't blink. got trade up Poster down around 50% right now King he's got a uh, Still got his full bar of health, so. But both players do have flash, and Trollster is sitting on full stick butter, so he's. He is able to flash if he needs to. Ooh, and he sets up, he trades up, and this could be a lot of damage. Ops with stage transition. Goes for unflashable damage. Thank you for the follow. Ooh, he went for a back 3 meter burn in that. Gonna cost Trollster going in here now with the silliness. It's King's turn now. It's King's. He's got to make it. Gets away from it. Sorry about the dim screen. Oh, we're trying to get away in the lows. Lows on that cancel. Caught him. Damn. Not bad though. I, uh, I'm pretty sure that's top five. So right now we got Dre Dog versus King. Uh, uh yeah, Dre Dog versus King. 
And then once that match is done, then we'll move on to winner's side and bang that match out before we move on to loser semis. So let me get Dre up in here. Two rounds in. Whoops, I messed up. I mean, Trollster versus uh, King. My bad. Run it? Alright. Yeah, Trollster versus Drake. Nope, oh, just waiting on you now. Black Adam, the Flash. Alright, so we got Flash versus Black Adam. Fighters approaching Gorilla City. Ooh, and that back three. Holster going in. He's got Dre Dog right now. He's got him in the corner. He's got him where he wants him. Dre trying to play it safe, not get caught. Old players. Oh, he was trying to use that. Interactable to get away, but the low lightning caught him. And just like that, chipped him out. Can we hurry this up? I think, uh, I think Dre's just, you know, trying to play a little conservative right now, doesn't want to get too carried away. Especially after, you know, Trollster just put a little bit of that beating on him in the first round, but keep his composure. Now Dre is doing his thing, just like that. Tie it up. Oh, caught him with lightning, dashes in, using that die or the jump to keep the combo going. Both around mid screen right now, so it's a good place for both characters to be. Uh, I think he went to go for uh interrupt him right there, but since it's not armored, he got caught by flash right there. Trollster's sitting below 50%. He's got three bars right now, so if he uh, if he needs to, he can flash. 
Gain all that health that he lost back, and there it is. Stray Dog sitting a little bit above 50% right now. Coaster, roughly around the same amount, taking some damage from Dre though. Air to air, trying to get Dre going. Dre still has a clash, so he needs it, he can use it. But you got the meter advantage by Trollster, so you'd have to use it wisely. Trait suck, it's caught. Got the trait, and uh, there it is. It's got the meter advantage, so now Dre can gain some health back. All the while, still hopefully do the damage that he can to Trollster and. Unfortunately, Trollster jumps into that lightning beam. Let's get across game number one. This is still on the side, so one person moves on, one person gets knocked out, unfortunately. The Flash. Black Adam. Same characters, just a different stage. Let's see where we go. Fighters approaching Arkham Asylum. Begin. Let's get that first bar. Who's gonna get it? Trey fishing for it. Get that down one of the sparks. Push and Trollster in the corner. Hits him with the air to air. And more sparks. Dive kick. Continue pressure. Got the trade out. That's more shift damage. It's a good chunk. And now Trollster's got him right where he wants him. Trades up. He's still round number one, so he can do as much damage as he wants. Ooh, and 579 into the reset. Just like that. All of Dre's health is gone. Fear not, because Black Adam still has pretty good damage, so and he's pretty much going to be sitting on a full stick of butter. Spends the bar, dive kicks in, using trait and dive kick, all right there, just to end it and tie it up. Full players, same amount of health right now, so it's dead even. Ooh, and that jump. Get him out of that own interactable. We've got a clash. We've got a clash. Fastest man alive. Yet you are not winning. <laughs> okay, Joe, that shit's like <laughs> years ago, bruh. <laughs> Down one, trades up. He didn't trade, I thought he was going to trade. So he went to go for a spark. Putting that chip in. Now it's Trollster's turn. Good blocks by both players, neither one getting caught. Both playing it smart, both know what's at stake right now. Trollster going in, trying to do as much damage, but he drops the combo in. That's something you want to do this late in the game. It's kind of tough. He's got a trade up, so he's got the speed advantage, and he's using that speed force to his advantage. Trade in the corner. Just about tied up right now. Both players, well, not both players, Dre has a clash. A little bit of lag spike right there in that wake up. Trollster going to tie it up. One, two, one. The Flash wins. Black Adam, the Flash. <laughs> Fighters approaching yeah, right there at the end. A little bit. It's been pretty good so far this tournament. I want to say that might have even been one of the very first lag spikes of the entirety so far, so... Not too bad. Alright, we got Interactable versus Overhead and Interactable wins on that startup. Yeah, tends to do that. I think... I've just been seeing a lot of Injustice server problems lately on Xbox the last couple weeks just running these tournaments. Dre keeping Trollster at bay with these lightning. Trollster moving his way in. He's got Dre in the corner. Good blocks by Dre right there. They got caught by that smash. We got trade up and this is gonna hurt. Ops for it. Finishes off. There's a setup. Hits him with that corpse hop and 
GG on the health right there. Trolls are looking to do some damage. Dre, his turn now. Drops the combo. Didn't expect it to hit. Sitting at mid screen right now, so he can do his thing and not have to worry about trolls or stuff. And here we are. Deja vu. All over again. Both players. Last round, same amount of health. Trollster took some damage right there on the sparks, but hit him on that crossover too right there. Sit on a full stick of butter, use that meter burn roll to get it. Yo, don't get me started on TBZ fighters, man. I'm... Well, it's good that you ask. I'll get to that in a second. Trollster going in right now. Is it, are we gonna see another corpse up? No, instead he goes to crossover two. Is the interactable throw Dre off? Dre knew what he was gonna do. He was gonna go into that course off. Hit him with that smash and Trollster taking the game, making 2 1 right now. Trollster kind of playing out of his mind. So, Boogie. Alright, I got to play the beta for three hours on PlayStation. Shout out to Watchful Shadow. Thank you, bro, for letting me be able to do that. And for everyone here who's participating in Injustice tournaments, when Dragon Ball Fighter Z drops. I'm stopping my Injustice 2 tournaments and doing only Dragon Ball Z tournaments because that's going to be the game that I'm playing. Yeah, it's 2-1 right now. 2-1 Trollster. So that there's going to be tournaments. But yeah, Boogie, I'm getting it for both consoles and like I'm going hard on that game. It's got me so hyped, dude, and I'm already going for a fucking draw. Having to wait until February. Anyways, Trey, starting off strong right here, getting that first car, taking down a decent chunk right now. Yeah, you guys are up next, uh, Cecil and Cage, so you're on deck after this set. Yeah, I just saw they put Yamcha in. <laughs> Anyways, we got Trollster going ham on Trey, and Trollster sitting on set point right now. Trey, man. Been uh having a trollster or uh yeah trollster Yamcha's always gonna be him. He's a fucking uh I can't think of his name right now. But he's always gonna be in every Dragon Ball game. Trollster going in right now. Trying to close it out. Dre not having any of that. Push block, straights up, using that lightning, sending him back and taking the round. And Dre's only down a game, so all he has to do is win this high up the set and put him on set match right now, so. It's still anyone's game, and you know, the way that both these players have been playing, it literally is just whoever has it. Oh, and that hardcore lag spike. Please don't lag out. Not like this. Ooh, the dive kick. 4-3. I don't know if he dropped it or if he just intentionally didn't follow through on it because he didn't want any kind of clash to occur. We got that trait. Got clash. Yep, and that's all Dre was waiting for. Dre was just waiting for him to get that second bar so that he could clash. And even if uh, Trollster did spend two bars, he wouldn't lose any more health. You know, so good stuff by Dre, you know, being uh, a tenth of, the, of his meter. But you gotta be. In any kind of meter reliant game, you have to be very attentive to the meter. Trey trades up, just trying to do everything he can to do as much damage. Good push block by Trolls there, keeping that bay, but unfortunately that wasn't enough, and Dre's gonna tie it up. Making it 2 2 right now, so. Both players are going on step match right now. Black Adam. Black Adam. The Flash. Yeah, great composure by both players. Dre's always had really good composure Fighters too. Approaching Gotham City. From what I notice, even if he gets in like rocky situations, he's still pretty good with it. Controls are, I mean, like, definitely the best I've seen Trolls play so far out of. Begin. Several tournaments that I've seen him in, so good stuff to you, man. Poster trying to get him in the corner. We got that bomb out. It's close to it. Tried to get away, but just wasn't far enough. And 
and it costs him some health right there, 330 damage. Oh, I'm definitely dropping Injustice 2 when uh, Dragon Ball comes out. I'm literally not touching another game for quite some time when Dragon Ball drops. Trollster doing his thing, and the option to throw, take the round, put him on set point, and put him at corner advantage against Dre. Using that interactable, get the plus frame, going in. Got push block, push block by Dre, going for the dive kick, putting him in. But yeah, I'm still gonna play Summoner's War, of course, Sal, but. As far as fighting games go, nah, I'm DBZ all the way, man. Fuck any other fighter. Unless they do like an MK9 reboot. That's it. <laughs> Ooh, and Dre put himself on set point right now, so. We got Trollster sitting uh, roughly like 65% health right now. Dre, just about 100%. Doing that double hop, get out of the corner. Doesn't want to deal with any of this shit. Gets hit by dive kick. Dre off for overhead in the trade. Good blocks, but he gets hit by the throw by Trollster. By Trollster is. Oh, in the trade right there. It's gonna be a very close match, and you know, we got full stick and butter by uh, Trollster right here. He's gonna eat some of that trade damage into that throw. It's gonna be tough. Doesn't want to deal with this. Oh, he's got him in the clash. Uh, honestly, well, no, because he had to spend a bar to get that gold, so he's got the advantage. He's gonna spend the two bars. 25%. Wow. 1%, and damn. Holster hates it. Wait and save in that meter, and because he had the advantage right there, that is why he won. Now, if Dre had the meter advantage, chances are Dre probably would have won that. Good stuff to both players. That was a really, really great match. So, up next, we've got Cecil versus Cage. One goes to Grand Finals, one goes to Losers Finals to fight the winner of Goonie versus Trollster. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Thanks for the follow. Uh, God's Frostbite. Unfortunately, we are basically at top eight. This is actually semi. Um, this is winners finals right now. However, if you go to that link right there, um, it's not updated because what it says right there is for today's tournament. I did invite you. Is for today's tournament. All right, let me make a new hill. It's for today's tournament, so um, in the next couple days, check the thread title and everything, and uh, that will tell you if it's been updated or not. So today is the 22nd. Next week is the 29th. So when you see a change to the 29th, that means that the new, you know, very first post has been updated. So just follow the directions and the links. Uh, I backed out because. Zem couldn't join for whatever reason, don't know why. So it should be good now, I hope. Nice. So I think we're gonna have a Blue Beetle versus Deadshot. That's what I think is gonna happen right now. Deadshot, Blue Beetle. Fighters approaching Atlantis. So now remember, this is winner's finals, so even if somebody loses, they still have a chance to come back in the winner's finals. Let's get in and see who it is. A little bit of lag spikes right there in the beginning. Started off almost a trade right there. Thank you for the foul. 
Now we got Cecil going in right now. Ooh, hit him. Keep him within his range, but we got Cage winning that air to air right there. He's got him where he wants him. He's got blue up. So that means more knockback, more damage. I'm trying to figure him out. We'll get down to it right there. Drop the four to three. It's going to cost him. Not too much, but it's going to cost him. He's trying to get his game going. He's got him where he wants him. Goes for that standing reset. Good block. Thought he was going to jump in. Went for the down tool, but he gets down to trying to jump in. Cage, I'm one with the anti air right now. Got him in the corner. Trying to chip him out in the overhead hits. We got Cage taking game number, uh, round number one. Goes for the down one. Meet of her back forward three. Using that, uh, wow, the shield lunge. Ooh, shield lunge again. Hits him with that 9 frame low. He's looking to take it out. He does. Tying it up. Cecil sitting around 65, 60-ish percent health right now. Gets him with that air dash over. Ooh. You see that hit a lot. Silliness right there. You expect him to cross over on that air dash and it just doesn't happen. Cage gaining 25% health right now. So he's got no more clash, but Cecil's got a clash with Toad in case he needs it. Sitting at 50% health right now. Taking some uh, full of damage. Got some chip. He brought the dip. Got him in the corner. Doesn't want to get caught though. Let's keep him in the corner. All the while playing it safe. Interact pulls out. Ooh, and the clash. He's got a clash. And he's got a bar to spend, so he can gain 15% health right here, but there's also that bar from Cage, and he's gonna do a deal with 15%. I don't think he expected that from uh, Cecil. I don't think he expected that, but I don't think it matters because Cecil's kinda going nuts right now, hitting him. Boys the wake up, goes in. Good blocks, got caught though. Got no clash. This is gonna hurt. It's fastly approaching the bar. What's he gonna do? Air dash over. Air dash is again, that stuff's tough. He's got the distance out. Oh, and he jumps in, avoids the shots. With the jump in, takes game number one, Cecil. Blue Beetle wins. Blue Beetle, man. Blue Beetle's been tearing up the tournament the last couple weeks. Blue Beetle, dead shot. Fighters approaching Gorilla City. So only stage change. Begin. Goes to the down three, trying to get that first bar, but. Cage said, nah, I'm gonna back up a little bit. I'm not gonna let you get that. Full player's fishing. Cecil getting that first bar. He's gonna use it. Background. Interactable. Sets up. Caught him. For the air cancel. With the fly cancel, rather. Still all the same. Pushing him toward the corner. Shooting those projectiles. Trying to take down as much as he can. Chipping him away, all the while building meter. Using that shield bash and having a significant health lead. Practically a full bar, so the little man's gonna have to put some double work in right now to take that first health bar away to get him down to where, you know, his health is and then work on him from there. But you got a full stick of butter from cage, so you know, still anyone's game, and if he does have to clash like he does right here, he's got the meter. Shoot your eye out, kid. Maybe I should have stayed in El Paso. Spends the three bars, gains 30% back. <laughs> Trying to trade projectiles. We got Cecil at two bars, almost at three. Got his third right now. And when he gets hit, it's caught by the overhead right there. Got blew up. More damage and knockback. He's got a bar. He's gonna spend it and he does. Trying to chip him away. Good meter burn roll right there. 
got himself, man. Now he's just got to apply the damage. Good blocks by Kate. He got caught in the low right there. Ooh, even better blocks right there on that crossover. That was silly. Down two. Gonna take some damage. Flash has already been used. Use the bar. Got a had a full stick of butter, but Cecil just using that bar on the lows. Need a burn. On that move. Tie it up. Still got Cecil with a significant health lead. He's got Clash and three bars. We got Dead Shot at two bars right now. He's got Cecil in the corner. He's hit by the back three meter burn. No Clash and Cecil taking game number two. Blue Beetle wins. Deadshot. Blue Beetle. Fighters approaching Metropolis. Right. Begin. Oh yeah, it could be. First bar gets awarded to Cecil. Got the trade right there. He's got Cage in the corner, but Cage gets out. Now Cage has him if he wants him. Corner game is always the best play right here. They're destroying the bar. I don't think these guys are too happy about it. They just want to sit and get drunk and motherfuckers are destroying the bar. One of you guys has got to pay for it. Hopefully the winner. 4-3. Keep him in the, in the corner. No jukebox fun for anybody right now. That's just chilling there. We got Cecil on set point. Got Cage in the corner. Cage trying to get his game going right now. But Cecil just putting that onslaught on him. There we go. He's got a mid screen. He's got him where he wants him. Spends the bar. Does the chip. Just like that. Ties it up. Always find a soft spot. Nice jug. As soon as uh, this tournament's over, I'm about to smoke a pipe and then on uh, my mobile game, I'm doing a guild or a uh, summoning session for one of my guild mates. So, anyways, we got Cage going in. Cecil using that air dive. Got the trade right there. Got the trade. Neither player gets the advantage or disadvantage. Both just set at neutral for the time being. Cecil in the corner. K trying to get his game going. Got it. Air escape. Escape from it. Got caught by the one. Or, uh, yeah, got caught by the one, but back one. Forward double two. Or forward double forward three. If I can speak properly. We got Cecil taking the set. But that's okay because this is still winners so even though cage had lost he still has a chance to redeem himself in losers finals so up next we've got Goonie versus Trollster Nope. I fucked up. Seen that you won the set? Yeah, Beetle. Beetle is pretty silly. Aw, oh, god damn it, I hit the wrong fucking button. 
Um, Goonie, just kick my ass quick. I hit the wrong button. Batman. Superman. My bad. Yeah, just get the squash match out of the way. I went to go hit start and instead my thumb hit X. Arkham Asylum. Begin. So we'll just let Goonie do his thing real quick. So anyways guys, join the tournament. I know I asked this earlier, but other people have came to the stream, so I want to make sure they're enjoying their time right here. Goonie, looking like a scrub, can't even do two forward threes with Superman. That's what I call justice. <laughs> He's getting it. So many fails. So many fails. Alright, so my bad guys. Sorry for that squash Superman match. Wins. It's what happens when um you don't pay attention. Or well you it's what happens when you hit the wrong button. I was paying attention, I just hit the wrong button. Okay. So Goonie versus Troll, so we'll probably see Pimp Side versus Flash. The Flash. Atrocitus. Fighters approaching Slaughter Swamp. Goonie gets the first bar, he goes to try to kiss. Decided to not use Pim's side in this one, I guess. And here comes the rough and toughness. Oh, he's gotta take it. It's the chip. Not sphere amounts of chip, but it's enough chip to be annoying, you know? Yeah, it did the wrong command anyways. But we got Goonie taking the first game. Got Air Escape from Trollster. Trades up, gets caught by the fire breath though. Had he not, that would have been some massive damage to Goonie. Goonie's got Dexstar up. Oh, and now it's Trollster's turn. Even up the score, he's got Goon in the corner. Those cancels, so trying to trip him up. Good blocks, he expected him to come in at that point. We'll hit with 4 3 and then 4 3 to stay in flash. We'll hit by Dexstar. We got Chip, here it comes. This is gonna hurt. Make sure he gets the hit so that he can flash. Especially on the, uh, the poison. I don't know if the poison will kill, but it'll certainly take away all your health. Gains 25%. Caught by the fire breath. Ducks under at this time. Hits him with a low. Caught again. Man, these fire breath anti airs are pretty silly, and Goon's gonna take game number one. Atrocitus wins. Atrocitus. I don't think there's going to be any kind of character change. Oh wait, I spoke too early. 
Going girl. Supergirl. Power Girl. Fighters approaching the Joker's playground. Begin. Use an eye laser. Get in that first part. Deck stars up. Use the shield to avoid the trait. Just that chip opts to throw at the end. Add a little bit of extra damage. Oh, opts to the unblockable. Barely walked away from the unblockable. I'm surprised when he didn't get hit. Goes using that special. Gains a little bit of meter. It's always good to do moves in between when you can gain additional meter if possible. Just optimization, you know. Goonie's got him in the corner, but Trollster said nope. I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna use that interactable. Using that up flight. Caught by the blood, unfortunately. Sets up. Dexter is up. Here's the chip and there's the throw. More chip and chip and chip and chip. Block on low, doesn't get caught. Trade right there. Either player had the advantage though. He's got Goonie, sitting on full stick of butter. And he's got Dex Star up. We got Power Girl. At two bars, fastly approaching the Greek. Soon to have four. Pretty sure Trollster has a clash, so if he needs it, he can use it, but hasn't had the opportunity to do so. Having to deal with just blocking and dealing with chip and then grabs. So. Good push block. Goes to low. Catches him. Time to come back. Trollster sitting at 15% health. 20%. Somewhere's around there. Tech stars up, but Trollster doesn't care. Because the trait's not out. And he had the advantage. Ooh, and there's that super. And the super's gonna catch him. That spells game number two for Trollster. Making a 2 0 Goonie. Goonie with those Tom Brady specials right here. Atrocitus wins. So let's see what Trollster does. Is he going to stay Power Girl or is he going to go to, uh, Back to uh, Flash. I don't know why you want to say Swamp Thing. Atrocitus. Yeah, no, that is really tough. The Flash. I mean, I know, like. Approaching certain setups Asylum. before you can poke as he's calling Dexter, but as soon as it's out, I'm pretty sure you got to uh, pretty much just deal with it. Unfortunately, like yeah, bend his knees and spread him pretty much. Going in, dealing with the chip. It's a tough game. Trollster, trying not to get caught by any of this atrocity bullshit. Got trade up, so it's gonna be a lot of damage putting towards the corner. Ooh, and that up. Thought uh, might have gone for a crossover. It's good enough that it traded though, so can't get caught. And now Dex is up. Good push block. Got the shield up, using that blood. The blood pool. Putting them at a reset. Trollster now just taking damage, taking chip, but he's got his game going. Ooh, air escape by Goonie. Both players basically the same amount of health. Down two or down three is gonna uh, can take this round. Goonie just trying to do anything he can to get this last little two percent gone from him, whether it be chip, anti-air, anything. But Trollster's not falling for it at this moment. So nope, I'm waiting. Good dash in. Got caught right there though, and that's gonna take it. Tourney is not open. 
but go to this thread. It's not updated yet, but I will update it in the next couple days. When you see it updated to September 29th of next week, that's when you can sign up. You have to go through that thread to save it, because every week I update that specific thread. So if you want in, sign up. That'll be for next week. Just wait a couple days, like I said, for me to update it. He's got Trollster and Goonie. They're going back and forth right now. You know, we got Goonie. He's on a set point. Ops for the clash. Trollster doesn't want any of this business. He just wants to get his game going. Goonie only spends a bar. Figure even if the bar was spent by Trollster, you know, he still have a couple extra bars left to do what he wanted to do. He's just trying to keep everything at bay right now. Push block. Ooh, by the shield. Dex starts going, so he's got the advantage. And he's got trade up, so if he needs to. And uh flash was already used by Goonie too, so really good time for uh Trollster to get his game going, but fortunately Goonie's just kinda keeping him at bay with those fire breaths. Dexstar is off. Uh, Scary thing, especially when you got Dexstar and Shield and Fresh Membership. Good push block. <coughs> trade is up, uses trait, goes in, connects. This could be it, drops the combo, caught by the wake up, but drop the wake up, caught by the double fire. That's unfortunately gonna be tournament life for Trollster right here. Atrocitus wins. Good games though to you guys, very good games. Top four though, can't aim with that trollster. Not bad at all. So now that that is taken care of, we're going into losers finals. Cage versus Goonie. Winner that goes to grand finals. Going to see who plays Cecil Snow. So let's get it in. Why? Yeah, it's definitely a rough matchup. I can only imagine the pain. Well, I mean, if you're talking about when I stop doing it, that's not until February. February is when Dragon Ball Fighter Z drops, so everyone you got until February to get your tournaments in with me. But as soon as uh, you're on your way, Cage, you're up, bro. You're on deck. Come on down. So yeah, as soon as uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z drops, I'm ceasing all injustice tournaments and strictly doing only Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Uh, for today, it's twenty dollars. Usually, I do twenty-five, but you know, I have to take care. You know, usually, like the end of the month is when some of my bills stack up. So sometimes I can do it, sometimes I can't. Today, I can. Nice. Alright, let's get it in. Lose his finals. Yeah, nuts are good. Like almonds and cashews and um, Atrocitus. pistachios. Pistachios, I love pistachios. Fighters approaching Gorilla City. All right, so we got Atrocitus versus Deadshot. Thank you for the follow. Thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate it. So, fishing for the first bar. Got Cage. Getting that first bar. 
Goonie, he's got a bar, so he can go for his 50-50s and get some of that low. Hops for it again. Oh, and there you go, it's gonna be over it. MKX character, pull back. Using that breath, doesn't want him to jump in. Goonie trying to keep him in the corner. The best place to keep the dead shot is in the corner, so he can't zone you out. But, it does have the ability to push you out, and then once it pushes you out, you can trade up the blue and keep you back. So Goonie's got shield up, Dexter out, using the low blood. Catching Cage, doing everything in his power to keep him in that corner, making sure he can't use those silly guns. And now we got Kate or uh, Goonie taking round number one. Using that kick, got that shot, full stick of butter, using that meter to get out. Oh, trading up. Playing it patient, not trying not to get caught by anything. Ooh, and that was silly. Anti-air into the conversion. Tech star out. Flying that ship. Cage using that push block. Doesn't want to have to deal with this. Hits the shield. Tops for the wake up. Keeping him down and he ties it up. Going on the third round right now. Cage tagging him, doing he's just trying to chip him away. He knows he doesn't have that much further to go. But there is Clash available for both players. Unfortunately, without a Clashless move right there, there's nothing you can do. Goonie taking game number one. Atrocitus wins. Atrocitus, Superman. Cage ops for Superman this Fighters time. Approaching Gorilla City. So let's see what the Superman change does for him. Begin. Goonie backing up, wants to create that space, doesn't want to deal with close range Superman. And that's why he wanted to use the space that he knew to get in, get that first bar meter, but Cage is going to respond with Trait, put Goonie in the corner. It's caught by the entire though. Both players basically just back and forth, back and forth with each other right now. One takes a significant amount and the other one does their job and it just goes back and forth like this you know, hit him with the eye laser keep him at bay, try to make sure that Goonie can't use his optimal range coming in down with traits there it is again it's double forward twos man, or the double forward threes you know, forward forward three meter burn really really good Goonie had that shield up, so he was able, able to take whatever happened. Ooh, and the down one. Thought he was going to try to jump out, went for the anti air. Trades up, in the throw. Might take the round, nope. But any kind of chip will, and there's that chip. Tied up. Goonie's got Dexstar out. Ooh, and there's that wake up. But Dexstar out. Goonie can pretty much do whatever he wants as soon as Dexstar is gone. Kinda can't. Goonie clashes. He's gonna spend some meter. Gain some of that health back. Ooh, no meter. Don't play him. Probably wants to save all three bars. Drop the combo this time. No conversion on that. Ooh, we hit him. There's the clash. So as of now, both players have used the clash. So there's no need for any unclashable damage. 
Goonie decides to spend additional bars to do damage against Cage, especially since he had meter advantage and, uh, you know, set both Clash for you, so you don't have to worry about Clash, but Goonie's gonna have to worry about this corner shenanigan right now. Caught him with the anti-air, Dexstar is out, gotta respect it, going for chip, blocked by the shield, saving grace right now, Goon with three bars, drops the combo, it's not good, Whip punished him on that, that was crazy, it's probably Goonie didn't get caught. Goonie trying everything to not get caught right here. This might be match life in the wake up, the Superman wake up punch right to the face of Goonie. I'm sure the salt is flowing right there after that. Superman That's brutal. Wins. Dark side. Goon decided on himself. And here's a cannon match. See how it goes. Begin. Slowly walking back down one, get that first bar. Using Omega Beams, he's got trade out. He's got his mini pimp with him. Background Miracle. Increasing that damage, drops the combo, doesn't get hit. Teleports out, avoids the overhead. Air escapes out. Ooh, no down two, it's gonna hurt Goonie right here, it might even be around it. Both got eye lasers. Soups is like. You got eye lasers, I got eye lasers. The difference between Soup's pimp side, that pimp side has pimp hands, is strong. Full trade blows. Trying to get their momentum going. We having a slightly harder time, uh, you know, what he wants to do. Going for anti-airs, but instead he's just waving hi to everybody. Happens to the best of us. Down two right there on teleport and flash right away. Tap your tremendous power. I'm about to. No bar was spent. I'm surprised that uh Cage didn't spend any bars to do damage to Goonie, but nonetheless, worked out for Goon. Brought him down. Neither man nor God can stop me. Score is sorry about that. It's one one guys. Score is one one. Teleports, gets away from that Superman punch. Ice breath, back three, pushing him toward the corner, in the corner, teleports out, down one, caught him off guard. Cage going at it, gets hit by trait though. Doesn't get stuck by the down two, so basically fair trade right there. Got Superman, full stick butter. Trade is gone. Goonie with no flash and Cage taken uh or no excuse me. It's not 1-1, one, one. it's actually 2-0. Goonie had the game won because I think I messed up. Goonie had to do a squash match. Maybe. Superman. Do I have a loss? No. So it, 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 it is 2 1. It's 2 1 cage. My bad, guys. So yeah, 2 1 cage. That is the real score. Switches back to Atroticus. Anti air. Converts. Sends him for a ride. Deck star out. Overhead, dealing with that pressure, hits him with a little blood. Just like that, almost 50% is gone from Cage. Now it's Cage turn. You got trade up, needs additional damage, you can't armor, just to break your armor. Goon just trying to keep the meter going. You got trade using that shield, down one converts. 
here's the damage, there's the setup, goes in, free pressure, round closer right there. Expecting to jump in, keeping him at bay, using that overhead as a really great wood punisher. Shield up, deck starts in, hits below blood, it's gonna do some damage. Ops for the inflashable right there, doesn't want him to flash. More chip, 50% trait, deck starts almost out, but we got trade up and now we got clash with Gage. Time to die, trust us. Hey, thanks for the follow. Three bars, 30% 30 or 30% health has been gained. So we're sitting at 75% health, roughly, somewhere around there. We're trying to get their momentum going. Cooney lost a lot, but he's got a full stick of butter and deck stars out, but Cage, he's kind of at a meter deficit right now when he's in the corner dealing with some Goony tech right now. Down two, just down twos that oops. Nope. Please don't get up. Hits him low. 50-50. Probably thought he was gonna air escape, so I think maybe that's why he waited on it. He's got Dexstar up. Letting that poison flow through Gorilla. Just like that. Goony ties it up. 2-2. Two -two. So now both players, they're on match point. So the winner of this goes Superman. to fight Cecil in grand finals. Loser gets kicked out. Tournament life on the line. See how it goes. Pretty good matches so far. Pretty good matches so far. A lot of back and forth, not, you know, just dominant free one sided matches. Goon trying to stay away, but we got these eye lasers. Got trade up. Deck star is gone. Still got trade left though from, uh, ooh, and down two. Goon was trying to use that meter burn to keep himself going and not get caught, but we got caught. Be taking some life right here. Ooh, and the lag spike. Lag spike's gonna hurt. Trades up. Try to get away from that unblockable, but didn't happen. Too big and Trasis. Too big of a character. Ooh, and Dexstar saved his life right there. He would have got whiff punished. Got lag spike again. It's not good. Sure, the annoyance is pretty high with both players when that lag spike hits and you're trying to convert or finish off your combo. So you got Cage sitting on set point right now. Really trying to get his game going. He's got about 50% he's got to take down right now, so it shouldn't be too, too bad. Blocks doesn't get caught after straight and down one ice breath. Boom, just trying to get this last little percent of health away from him. Put himself on set. Ooh, that clash. I don't agree with it, man. Accidental, I can understand, but way too early, you know. Now you're you got no clash. Ice breath's up. It's gonna hurt. Boom, at low 50% now. Alright, full players on set point right now. Cage with the life advantage. Boom trying not to get caught. He's got the meter advantage. He gets caught. Air escapes out, but he got caught and Cage is gonna take it. Cage moves on to grand finals. Fight Cecil. Superman wins. Blue Beetle. That has been wrecking face the last couple weeks. So this should be a pretty interesting matchup. 
Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I want to say, uh, this might be a run back. Yep. In, uh, semifinals, Cecil beat Cage, sent him to losers finals, and now, uh, Cage just won, so... Now Cage just won, so um, it's a run back, grand final run back right now. Yeah, dude, that's gonna be rough, man. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Alright. Grand finals. Blue Beetle. Dead shot. Approaching Brainiac's ship. And game number one, Grand Finals, is going to be fought in front of Lord Brainiac. A little lag spikes. Begin. Hopefully it's not too terrible. First bar goes to Cecil, getting him with that projectile. Down to him. No, first bar went to, uh, Cage. My bad. Anyway, Cage, keeping him out. Very bad matchup for Blue Beetle. Just gotta play it patient, work your way in. Blue Trait is rough, too, because that's gonna send you back to do more damage. The trait is gone, so not too much knockback is gonna be happening. We've got him in the corner. Full fishing for that combo starter right there. Whether it be from a down one or from a meter burnable super move. Oh, and that shield dive is. Uh, shield smash. Almost cost him. Got the reset. Good blocks. Caught by the logo. No bar to increase or uh, extend the combo. He's gonna eat some chip damage right here. Trying to fly over and air to air. The air bullet. Peter Burr rolling, down three. Try to keep low profile. Shield bash, trying to push it toward the corner. Slowly but surely it's working. Couple more hits and yep, just like that. Tying it up. I got punches and punch galore. Using that air or the, the float. Float was really good on Beetle. Wow. Nice. Back one, hit him, overhead. Now just like that, going from one corner to the other. There's still 50% left, you know, 50% health left on Cecil. He's fastly approaching, full stick of butter. He's got it right now, so if he needs to clash, he's got it, but looks like the real man's just not doing it. Any of the moves that Cecil's looking for to clash on. Fishing for that bar. DX gunshots. Gonna take game number one. Deadshot wins. Now remember, double elimination. So Cecil, in this set at least, he only needs to win three games. And then he wins the tournament. But Cage has to win three Dead games shot. while he just Blue took the game, so he's got to win two more, reset the bracket, and then win another three more games Fighters if he wants to uh, become the champion of this week's Tournament of Violence. Begin. Ooh, first bar. 
goes to Cecil, but gets caught by Caged, and uh, now we're back to the projectile war, which is good. Use projectiles to keep your opponent out, and also keep that spacing where you know, you know that your optimal range is. So when they get in that optimal range, because you're forcing them to work in on those projectiles, you know, it makes your life a little bit easier. Ooh, and the interactable. Keep going interactable. Need a bird roll in. Try to keep them at bay. Yes, this is weekly. Save this thread. And uh, it's not updated for next week, but check the title and the date with the first post for you know sign up links and stuff are. Today's the 22nd, so when you see the 29th, that means that it's uh the OP has been updated, so that's where you sign up. That you, you have to sign up via that thread. So you gotta use that. Yep, thread's right there, man. Just click that link and you're good to go. Like I said, it's not updated yet, so give it a couple days and then check that thread again and it should be updated. You'll know by checking the title. A lot of back and forth by Cecil and Cage. Cecil just only got to take away about 2% right now, and that's all he's fishing for to finally get so but at the cost of about 50 something, you know, 53% health, somewhere around there. To about 47. Excuse me, because he was above 50. <clears throat> Trying to work his way in. Catches him on that low. There it is. There's that forward three. Spending the two bars to keep it going and forward three to keep it unflashable. Cage in the corner. Both players. Trying to look for it. Spending a bar to get out. Thank you for the follow. After the throw. Still down to the wire. Anyone's game. Shield bash. Got a bar by Beetle now. Three bars by uh, Cage. Any kind of chip right now will do it. And just like that, Cecil turns the favor, tying it up. One one. Yep, stage picks are allowed. So I said stage selection is up to you. You can do random or pick your own stage. It really doesn't matter. Cecil going in. Looks like uh, Cage decided to go to Superman. And Cecil now just going ham. It's already almost 75%. Cage health is gone. Foot Cage returning to favor now. Responding with another at the almost 40% combo. Bringing Cecil down. Trying to bring him down with the same amount of health that he's got. Because that's what you want to do. You never want to have less health than your opponent. You always want to have more. A couple little lag spikes right there. Cecil's got Cage in the corner. Thought a down two was coming. Four lag spikes. It happens. And there we go. We got Blue Beetle Madness. We got a clash. We got a clash. Doesn't want to take any more damage. Spends two bars. Gains 25% health back. We got trade up on um, Superman. So if he needs to, we can use it. Add that extra damage. Use a background interactable to increase damage. Ops for the Ender right there. Still about 13 14% health left on Cecil. Avoiding these lasers. Went to go for a back three, but unfortunately Cecil then fall for it. Just decided to keep his composure, stay away, shoot some projectiles and gain some leader. Excuse me. Yawning. It's roughly around 50% cages. Still anyone's game. 
pretty sure both players have Clash. I, uh, I think Cage might have actually, yeah, Cage that he is this, so Cecil still has his Clash, but full stick of butter. Spend bar by Cage. Back and forth, I mean, in a trade right here, Cecil can win just because he's got the health advantage, so I don't think Mind is trading right now with that, or uh, Superman. Almost full stick of butter by Soups, using that meter burn roll to get him. Obstacle trade goes for the throw, increased damage, and that's gonna hurt him. Full stick of butter, and Cecil takes game number three. Making it 2 1, which now puts Cecil on his tournament match. Well, Cage is down a couple games, but at least he's got a game underneath his belt, so he's not too, too far away from reset. Blue Beetle. No, it's allowed. No, you can pick whatever you want. Stage selection is up to you. Fighters approaching Arkham Asylum. Begin. So it goes back to dead shot. Oh, okay, sorry, Cage. Yeah, yeah. Stage it, it really doesn't matter. It's up to you guys. It's, we have GGPO. It's not like I have to say, oh, you got to go to this stage because it's less laggy. GGPO, play on whatever stage you want. It doesn't matter to me. Anyways, like I said, Cage went back to dead shot. So it's now. Deadshot. First Blue Beetle. Blue Beetle. He's on his tournament match right now. He's trying to get his game going. Ooh, and he's down two right there. That some silliness. Okay, he's trying to get his momentum going. Both players have a bar. He's got full trade two by uh by Kate, so he can pop that, do some extra damage, knock back, take away meter. Whatever he chooses, all depends on the color that he pops. Down to doesn't continue the combo from Cecil. Just trying to deal as much damage as possible. Cecil is now tournament point. Cage in the corner, trying to get his way out using those bullets. Oh, and that air dash. Air dash just said no. Nope. Don't care about your rifles. I'm gonna dash in and punish you severely on it. Two bars from Deadshot. Does have a Clash. Ah, not the Clash. This could be it. Trying to make sure Clash doesn't happen. Cecil doing everything in his power, and there it is. Cecil, for three, three, three weeks running now, has been the Tournament of Violence champion. So congratulations. And as always, I'm going to run through these brackets. It's a good game, Cecil. I'll get, I'll get to you on test your mic. So, ah, uh, four. Ah, uh, four next time, yeah. Four weeks. Could be, yeah. Alright guys, so here's the rundown. Congratulations. Again, Supreme Champion, Cecil Snow. Runner up, first time coming out, second place, not badge cage. Hope to see you here next week, man. Good stuff by you. Only Goonie, it's tough dude. You had some tough matches against you. But hey dude, not bad. I, I really hope to see you here again next week. Trollster, playing out of your mind, man. Dre Dog was a little salty that you beat him, but it's only going to make Dre train a lot harder, so I think next week he's going to come back with a vengeance. YOLO and Dre, fifth place tie. Not bad, guys. YOLO, you know, won a couple numbers game. 
but not too bad. Pretty good Brainiac. 7th place tie, top 8. King and Jughead, always phenomenal gameplay. Always a joy to have you guys. See you guys next week. We got ninth place tie. We got Zem. Thanks for coming out, man, and hosting. I appreciate it. I'm sure I'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Carvar. Hey, man, shit happens. I know it's, you know, did the best that you could for him. Dude, what happened, bro? You're always in top eight. But I think you might have just been tired. You're like, nah, I'm going to nap. Good stuff, Bess. You know, this uh, tournament was a little tough. Run around, you know, just a bad place, bad time kind of thing. 11th place tie, or 13th place tie. Medicon, I don't know where you were. Weren't even here. Don't know how you got there. Shrek, good games, man. Glad you could make it out. I really hope to see you here again next week as well. That Legion, again, no clue where you came from. This MKX King, that was an accidental name ad by me. Lava. Connection and problems. I know shit happens. It's rough, dude. And the B man, you weren't here, so unfortunately, you're in last place. So thank you guys for coming out. You love me. You really love me. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. I really do appreciate the uh, the donation, man. So thanks, guys, for coming out. Next week, as always, we will be here. So I'm going to cut the stream. Um, and you guys, uh, I'm going to go eat. If you guys want to see the other main game that I play, I play Summoner's War on the mobile game. I'm just doing a quick summoning session for a guildmate of mine. So I'm going to eat quick. Get that done with him. And uh, yeah, that'll be it. So thanks guys for coming out. Make sure to hit that follow button. And I will see you guys next week. Peace, show.